up? Just Aaron right here, Question Period Canada. Oh my goodness, Larry Brock is absolutely on fire here in Ogo Committee, and it gets out of hand. You, all I can do is show you the video. We might be able to watch it together, but you'll be happy to watch this one by yourself. Larry Brock brings the fire and the heat, and it's so interesting because these liberals are running scared. Just watch the panic. Check this one out. It's really fun. Minutes, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Moore, I am so grateful you're actually part of a panel with the uh, Auditor General. In fact, you're sitting right next to Mr. Hayes, the Deputy Attorney General, uh, Auditor General, I should say. Now, last week, about a week ago, exactly a week ago, I asked you a question. You couldn't answer the question. I want to know why you deliberately, your agency, the CBSA, not you personally, why the CBSA deliberately misled and lied to the Auditor General when saying that GC Strategies uh, uh, actually provided a proposal for the initial contract to work with the CBSA. That's what the CBSA confirmed to the Auditor General. The Auditor General confirmed that, in fact, that was false. So here's your opportunity to come clean to Canadians and to members of this committee. You, as a representative of the CBSA, why did you mislead the Auditor General? Um, so as a representative of the CBSA, I do not believe the CBSA did mislead the Auditor General. There were, there were different choices at that time, and one of the choices was to have an in-house um, developed product project using staff augmentation, which is the GC strategies. I'll stop you right there. Are you suggesting the Auditor General simply got it wrong? They looked for a proposal on the initial contract with CBSA that you said you had in your possession from GC strategies, and they confirmed it wasn't there. Well, I think what you're referring to is missing documentation, mm -hmm. which I think has been subject to a number of um, different inquiries. Lots of p different people have been looking for the documentation, and that is also part of the investigation to see whether the documentation is missing because of COVID or because of some Okay, other GC strategy, specific, specific, sorry, specifically Mr. Firth, uh, when he attended uh, a few weeks ago, refused to answer questions regarding his involvement in the $25 million IT service contract, stating that responding to that question would somehow jeopardize the RCMP investigation. So we know through the Auditor General's report that I'm sure that you have read that GC, Government of Canada Strategies, was directly involved in the drafting, the narrow terms of that $25 point of million order, dollar IT service contract. Point of just order, Just one chair. second, Mr. Brock. Uh, yes, Ms. Shanahan? Yeah, it's just on this Government of, of Can so, you know, Canada that Mr. Brock is referring to. Is this an official name? I'm, I'm just, that, that's, uh, I'm that's just not, confused. That's not a point. It's GC Strategies. Ms. Ms. Shanahan, that's, that's, that's not a point of order. If the witness, if the, if the witness is seeking strategies. clarity, they're entitled to ask, but not members. Mr. Brock, um, I don't know if you want to ask your question again. I'll give you time if you do. So That's fine. Please do. And for Ms. Shanahan's benefit, it was actually Mr. Firth himself who confirmed that the GC stands for Government of Canada. Not my words. Your witness, Ms. Shanahan, Mr. Firth. So, Mr. Firth, through GC Strategies, created their own terms, drafted their own contract, which surprisingly they actually won. 25 million tax dollars, Canadian taxpayer dollars. Who at CBSA allowed that to happen? Well, I think, as I've said previously, it is unacceptable for... No, sir, I know it's unacceptable. Everyone knows it's unacceptable. You're the, you're, you're the one responsible, for, you're accountable for this mess, you're accountable for failures. Now provide us some answers. Who at the CBSA, I want names and I want positions, allowed Government of Canada strategies to draft their own contract worth 25 million taxpayer dollars? Name, sir. Well, that is, uh, as I've said before, it's the Board of Technologies and Innovation Directorate which were responsible for that. Give me a name. Not a department, give me a name. Well, the DG is, is um, Mr. McDonald, and the executive director was Mr. Utano. They were responsible for drafting that statement. Of Are work. you saying it was Mr. McDonald and Mr. Utano who allowed 
GC strategies to write their own contract? Is that your evidence? I'm not saying that at all, but I'm saying that's what I want. That's the question I'm putting to you, sir. How more Point simpler order, can I Mr. phrase Chair. it? Who at CBSA is allowed this Mr. to Brock, happen? I've, I've taught Miss, Miss Khalid, uh, what is your point of order? Uh, with uh, the, the years of experience we've had, we treat our witnesses with a little bit more respect than what Mr. Brock is, is treating our witnesses Ms. as that, right now. That is not a point of order. Uh, Mr. Brock is trying She's to get an answer and yeah. is, is becoming, I think, rightly frustrated the way a lot of Canadians are. Mr. Brock, you have Mr. the floor Mr. Uh, again. Sure. Mr. Moore, let's not play games. The question is simple. Who, give me a name, at CBSA allowed Government of Canada strategies to write their own contract, which they won, $25 million. Give me names, please. Well, I think as, I, as I've already given you names, but there... That and I asked you, I asked you, you, you gave me names, you gave me Mr. McDonald, and Mr. Utano. I asked you, are they responsible for allowing GC to write the contract? You said no. So the question now is, sir, who at CBSA allowed it? I've said, I said I do not know because it is under investigation, and that is a key part of the investigation internally. How could you not SMB. know? Point of order How could again, you not Mr. Know, Chair. Sir? Just one second, Mr. Brock. Yes, Miss. Khalid. Uh, this is a point of order on decorum. The the witness has said time and time again he does not know there is ongoing no, investigations. No, Why are we badgering a witness? Again, that is not Please, a point Sarah. of order, Khalid, Chair. That is absolutely that, a that point of order, point Chair. Of, this thought, is about well, decorum. Ms. Ms. Khalid, Mr. Brock's question was simple. Why don't you know? That's what that that, that was his, that was his no, question. It no, seems Chair, to be a valid I, valid question. You I might not like how it's you posed. Became, I'm so sorry, Chair. I didn't know you became an agent for for the Conservatives wow. there. But I'm he's a Conservative I'm MP. You, to but be fair, <laughs> he's also he's also the chair of this committee. Oh which, gosh. Which, begs of him to be nonpartisan in his deliberations no, no in how we operate no as a committee. Yes, yes it does. Yes, Ms. Khalid, yes, and I'll point out I've had my share of conservative MPs who have whinged at some of the decisions I've made uh, as well. So uh, when I get Chair, it from both I, sides, I, I find myself right in the position I need to be. Ms. Khalid, Ms. Brock, Mr. Brock has the floor. His question was, why don't you know? That question is in order. Mr. Brock, you have about 40 seconds left. So, so you can ask Mr. for six minutes. Miss, the same Miss, question. Okay, hold, hold on. Miss, Miss, Miss Khalid, the more you talk, the more time. I'm going to start. I'm, the, the more you talk, the more time Mr. Brock has because you're running into his time to get uh, questions going back and forth. So, Mr. Brock, you have the floor. For 40 seconds. Thank you, Chair. And I won't, I won't be um, silenced by Ms. Uh, Khalid or Ms. Right. Shanahan or anyone on that Liberal bench because these are relevant questions that Canadians want to know an answer to. So I'll ask it again for the fifth time, sir. Why do you not know who in particular allowed GC to write the terms of their own contract, given your position at the CBSA? And the question can go to Mr. Fleming as well. Why do you not know? So actually, Mr. Mr. Hayes has, has helped me with the chronology um, in that um, Mr. McDonald actually left the CBSA on the 23rd of April 2021, and the first competitive contract awarded to GC Strategies was on the 16th of May 2022. It is still subject to review of the independent <laughs> of, of, the, of, of the investigations. I, once that, that has... The investigation run by Mr. Lafleur. Mr. Brock, your time is up. I'm afraid I will... I will. I will come back wow. uh, to, uh, to your bench. Uh, Ms. Khalid, you have the floor for five minutes, please. Uh, By the way the Liberals are running scared here, you can see that there is a cover-up going on. That's just not about treating a witness with decorum. That Khalid, she's an issue, man. Just wait and see. She's only in her early 30s. That chick has to get gone. See her never again after the next election. My name's Aaron. This is Question Period Canada. Brock rocks. These OGO committee meetings, which we cover them, we do them live, live broadcasts. They're fun. Come hang out, check out our community in the chat room. It's fun. But they're going somewhere. It's so interesting. Brock rocks. It's fun to watch. I don't like where Canada is heading right now, but it is still fun to get caught up on the Canadian politics. So like and subscribe, get notified, share, all that stuff. We'll be back with more videos. Thanks for watching.